All right, to get started, select the clip on your timeline you'd like to apply a speed ramp to and use the Control R keyboard shortcut so that you see the speed arrows. Then move the playhead to where you want to change the speed of your clip. Click the arrow next to 100% and select Add Speed Point. Now move the playhead to where you want your clip to change speed again. And click the arrow next to 100% and select Add Speed Point. Next, let's change the speed of the area between our two points by clicking the percentage arrow between our points, hover over Change Speed, and select your desired speed. If you want to speed it up over 800%, simply drag the top of one of your points closer to the other one. Okay, now my clip speeds up between the points, but it doesn't ramp up over time and instead speeds up instantly. To ramp up our speed, let's right click our clip on the timeline and select Retime Curve. If your monitor doesn't have enough space, you may need to drag the video track down so that you can see the curve. Since we want to retime the speed and not the frame, let's click this little arrow, uncheck Retime Frame, and then check Retime Speed. Okay, now we can see how our speed is sitting at 100% and then instantly shoots up to 400. To turn this into a ramp, make sure your line is selected so that you can see these points on it, then click one of the points. With the point selected, click this curvy line button to turn it into more of a ramp. Then drag the handles on either side of the point to change the velocity of your speed ramp. Alright, and there my speed ramps up over time. And I can do the same thing with the other side using the same steps. But let's say you want to play your clip in slow motion after it speeds up instead of returning to normal speed. To do that, click the percentage arrow to the right of the clip you want to change, and change its speed to a number under 100%. Okay, and now my speed ramps up, and then ramps down to 50%. Keep in mind that you can move your speed points at any time by dragging the bottom of a point. You can also keep adding points after this if you want to keep changing the speed, but you'll have to give them ramps as well if you want that effect. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.